What? What did he just say? N nothing The second bullet must exist? But where? Someone took it. It seems waiting is not going to produce us any answers from Mr. Wright. Wait, Your Honor! Hmm? I... Uh... The, the second bullet! It... Uh... It exists! What? But we've just heard proof that it does not exist! I... I realize that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. It... It's just someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But who? The, the, the murderer. The murderer? Then tell us, just who is this murderer? I'm still thinking on that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet? Why would he? Huh? First of all, how would he have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for the bullet? Uh, of course there was a need. That's why he took it. Bah! What possible reason could he have had? Well, well the reason the murderer took the bullet away from the scene with him is... The murderer was cautious. Uh, bullet would be proof. Um, maybe he thought that the bullet would be used as proof? Proof? It was a special bullet, so he took it with him. If that was the case, then he would have taken a bullet from inside Gregory as well! Huh? Why would he only take one of the two shots fired? Oh. Right. Do I get penalized? Mr. Wright, have you really thought this through? I'm going to have to penalize you. Aww. One of my five questions, my five exclamation marks are taken away. Oh, boo-hoo. Pretty sure this case is almost a... <laughs> This isn't going so well. Was there some pressing need for the murderer? Yes, the murder. The murder had to find it. Uh, of course, there was a need. That's why he took it. <laughs> we already heard all this. <laughs> uh, the murderer was, was cautious. Uh, well, the murderer was very cautious. Sort you see. That's why the murderer had to search for that bullet. Let me guess. If that was the case, then he would have taken the bullet from inside Gregory! Oh, great. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this spiel again. Okay, fine. He took two of my exclamations. Fine, the murderer didn't need it. Why would the murderer have spent the time to look for the stray bullet? I haven't gotten a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh... Um... Bah! The murderer had no reason to take that bullet! You don't want it to admit it, but it's true! Uh... Had to take it... Had to take it? The murderer? What does that mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Mr. Wright? <laughs> yes, Your Honor? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, um, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But, uh, the murderer had to take the bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Well, for instance... For instance, what? Uh, maybe the bullet, uh, hit the murderer?
Oh, <laughs> that's a good thought, actually. The bullet hit the murderer? J just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hit you, would you have taken it with you? Wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there. Y you know? What? Wait a second. I was just talking off the top of my head. But what if that's really s what happened? Let me get this straight. So at the time of the murder, the murderer himself was shot? And he left with the second bullet and still inside? Thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime? Uh, yeah. I guess that's how it would work, yes. But there's a problem with that! The other per two people rescued from the elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yana Yogi, were both unharmed! So that would mean... The murderer came from outside. Yes. The two men fight inside the elevator. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharges, and the bullet... The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. The boy loses consciousness. Then the murderer opens the elevator door and sees the men out inside. Hmm. Mr. Wright, you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. Ah, oh, thank you. I can tell you're just, you're grasping. Yet I cannot de de deny the po possibility of what you say. Of course. What are you saying? Deny it! Deny it! No one involved with the incident was wounded. There was no murderer. Hmm. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of anyone. Hey, Nick! Huh? I just thought of something really crazy. Crazy? Remember what Mr. Crowsford said yesterday? Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow! It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see? Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. What if Von Karma didn't take the vacation because of the shock? But took it because he was injured? Which would mean... It could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident! He was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth! It was... Von Karma! Oh, man! Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem... Dazed. Uh... N no Your Honor. Well... You have indicated the possibility, possibility that the murderer came from outside. You give us the name of your suspect? Uh oh. Should I come out and just say it now? Say it now! Say it now! Say it now! Say it now! <laughs> your Your Honor, there is a suspect. One lone suspect. Well, this is certainly interesting news to me. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? <laughs> My hands are shaking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Von Karma. Von Karma. Y 
you mean? The Von Karma? The prosecutor? Sitting right there? Bah! Bah! You don't it object? Oof. I see no need. Why honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection? Because you took a vacation for several months, starting the day after the incident. Yet, you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident? Fascinating! For prove it! I wouldn't have needed surgery, no. Where did I go under a knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated on me! Have him testify! Uh... Nick! Let's find out who his doctor is! It's no use. Edgeworth? I know Von Karma, perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave any clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as a witness. Gah. Nobody's that perfect. So, so what, Nick? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane! No, he couldn't have. But, his oh-so-perfectness is not without a perfect body, is it? You can't just pull bullets out by yourself. Wait. What does that mean? That bullet has to be somewhere. But, where? <laughs> well, Mr. Wright! Can you produce evidence to prove that I was shot? It would be impossible to find a doctor who operated on Von Karma now. Even if Von Karma did undergo surgery. Oh, it seems you have finally come to your senses. Oh, you've realized that's the truth. You can't prove something that didn't happen. Uh. Nick. The court record. There must be something. The court record? What could be in there? Um. I have no freaking clue. I'm kind of at all right now. I better think on it as I go. All right, Von Karma, I'll prove it. And I'll even use evidence. I now know how you like it so much. W what? The evidence! The evidence that proves Von Karma shot it is... This bullet right here! What exactly is that? Uh, sorry. Judge, if you would... What? Right. Penalty! I'm really not sure how I've managed to make it this far. Mr. Wright, please reconsider your evidence. Y yes, Your Honor. The evidence that proves Von Karma shot it is... Ah, I 
have one chance left, so I am gonna save it. And if I screw up this time... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going real far here. This is real unorthodox or anything. I can't save or anything. So if this pull... If this comes up as wrong, I'm going to be really angry. Apparently, the evidence that proves Von Karma shot it is... This is really going to freaking drive me crazy. Take that! Von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery leaving an evidence trail. His... his... that's too per... he's perfect. Yeah. As I said before, everything's perfect except for his body. So then, I ask, where's that bullet now? I think it is unlikely that Von Karma performs surgery on himself. You, you don't mean. I do. I was pretty much right. I just couldn't freaking provide the evidence because I forgot one of the most useless evidence things there is there. I was trying to point out ballistic markings on a weapon that he produced. There is the possibility that the bullet is still inside Von Karma! Is that even possible? For all those years? Well, there's only one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well... Von Karma, I'm going to run this over you and see what we find. Oh, someone's a little nervous, huh? I, I refuse. You, you refuse? But refusing this means you acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you. Order, order, order. Your Honor, the defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Judge, I call for the, a suspension on the of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. Too bad the the statute of limitations runs out on this court case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. Yeah, just like it's. I shouldn't be recording right now. Hmm. Ugh. Enough! I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing or face guilty verdict. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we have to give it a shot. It reacted. Something's r inside the right shoulder. The bullet! Mr. Von Karma? You! You! You murdered my father! It was you! I was afraid this would happen! And so, I remained silent! Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. Hmm. 